Last week you may have seen our interesting and rather surprising report about the Windows 10 game mode, which was discovered in the build 14997, a mode that promises to bring various improvements to gaming here on Windows 10 PCs. Now while at the time we didn't know too much else about this particular thing, new details have emerged online today thanks to a report from Windows Central, and according to that same report, Windows 10 game mode isn't just going to improve the gaming experience here on Windows 10, but also on the upcoming Project Scorpio and of course the Xbox One itself. Now, a segment from their report, which will be linked in the description below, reads, quote, Game mode, it appears, is a feature that streamlines variations between Xbox consoles and PCs, making sure as many Windows 10 systems as possible can run games to the standards set by the Xbox One and Project Scorpio. Microsoft describes those target standards as 900p to 1080p resolution for Xbox One and 4K resolution with 60 frames per second for Project Scorpio, and we received evidence to suggest that the Xbox One already utilises game mode to achieve its targets. Now, if their sources over at Windows Central are indeed correct, game mode actually made its way onto development kits of the Xbox One in the summer of last year, and improvements arriving in subsequent updates throughout the fall and winter. Now all of this sounds great, but unsurprisingly, there is a caveat. Now previously we didn't know whether or not game mode would be a feature meant only for UWP games, but this does appear that it could be the case. Again, this is according to Windows Central. They are basically saying that games developed for Windows 10, Xbox One and Scorpio ecosystem need to be game mode enabled UWA, so Universal Windows Apps. However, this does have some pretty interesting applications when you think about the Scorpio, as their report reads, quote, This means that developers using game mode enabled UWP today to build games for Xbox One at 900 to 1080p and up to 4K for Windows 10 PCs are ready to deploy those games for Project Scorpio with over 95% of the existing project code intact. This could explain why we're already seeing major players jump on the UWA train, with Resident Evil 7 set for Windows 10 style of debut but on Jan January 24, 2017. If it is a game go mode enabled UWA, Resident Evil 7 is ready for true 4K and Project Scorpio as a result, unpacking its 4K PC textures and settings when it installs on the console. Now, this all sounds great in theory, and it indeed could be, however. While it sounds great for a developer already developing for PC to have game mode enabled, you can save yourself a lot of work and be able to say, yeah, we're going to support Project Scorpio with our upcoming title. You're going to have 4K 60fps on console, and you're going to be able to play it on PC. It's going to be amazing you know, without too much work on the developer's part. You know that, that all sounds great. Except that UWP and, of course, UWA, while it is better than it used to be, still has a lot of problems. For example... Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is a UWA on the Windows 10 store, but for some baffling reason that makes sense to no one except the people who made the decision in the first place, it's segregated from all other versions, basically meaning that if you for some reason bought this version, which of course very few people did, you literally cannot play with anyone who bought the game on Steam despite the fact that you're both on the PC platform, meaning that of course you have no one to play with and if you don't like the campaign, well sucks to you son, you just wasted $60. And of course, given that if Resident Evil 7 won't take advantage of the Xbox Play Anywhere feature or crossplay or anything like that, it's not really the best title for a sort of flagship, flag waving title for this sort of game mode thing. And maybe that's not what the case is, because of course we only have the support to go on. But all it's really going to be is, hey, it's going to be on Windows 10 as well, and is potentially going to be a UWA title. Of course, there's no multiplayer to worry about Resident Evil 7, but of course, this could have a larger impact. And if you're a developer and you think, okay, I could do this, and I could save myself a whole lot of work, but I am having to do X, Y, and Z, which is going to really negatively impact my experience, negatively impact the gamer's experience, make my game a worse uh, product in the final times, all this sort of stuff. So, of course, while it all sounds great, there are many caveats on this, potentially. Of course, this is all speculation, so it could all be wrong, but it still is interesting to consider nonetheless. Regardless of all that, I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.